what happens from the rest of the program. In this one, we propose to have a new mechanical specifically designed for our device. Uh, we design a trust shadow with us relying on the on the hardware and it requires no more no, no, no modification to the application. And the and the result, our solution can be instantly deployed. Uh, in terms of security, we we try we ensure that the application runs in a solution with a with a, a trust operating system and it ensures that the application is loaded in the memory correctly. And also we ensure that the, the return value of the operating system is trusted. Before we look at the details of our system, let's first look at the, the ARM Trust Zone, which is the basic of our system. ARM Trust Zone was first introduced in the ARM V6 architecture. Uh, since then, all the ARM application processors are covered with this hardware feature. Uh, ARM Trust Zone provides two virtual calls. One for the long world and the other for the secure world. Uh, correspondingly, the system results are partitioned into a secure part and a non-secure part. In the, in the normal world, the process is only access the non-secure resources and it, it typically runs on a commercial operating system such as Linux. In the secure world, the processor can access both secure and non-secure resources. Uh, it typically runs a lightweight trust trust operating system. Both world has its its own uh, privilege mode and uh, user mode, except that an additional monitor mode is added uh, to the secure world to serve as a gate for what's special. In trust channel, we we try an um, unmodified application entirely in the secure world and uh, employ a uh, Lightweight runtime system in secure world to maintain its execution environment. Instead, to, to reduce its TCB, we do not implement uh, we do not implement a system service ourselves. Instead, we forward them to the normal world of Linux OS and, and correspond, correspondingly verify the return values of the system class. In this way, we can ensure that uh, the application is loaded correctly and uh, to defeat the ego attacks. Let's, let's look at the control flow of, of a trusted application. A trusted application is still created by the Linux kernel in the normal world in SVC mode. Here, SVC mode is the previous mode in which the kernel runs. But instead of, of but the application never runs in the user space of the normal world. Instead, we invoke a word space to the secure world and uh, the control flow is transferred from modern mode to SVC mode and finally the secure world the user space. When an exception occurs, the process will be tracked in the corresponding mode. Uh, for security critical uh, services, such as a random number request, we directly serve them inside the, uh, inside the secure world. But for others, we simply forward them to the normal world. We call them uh, external service. Uh, the management is a very important aspect in implementing Transshadow. We partition the physical memory, memory into, three, into three regions. First, we have a, a, a normal region, which is a non-secure resource, and it holds the Linux kernel. And uh, we have a trust zone runtime region, with, which is a secure resource, and it holds the other runtime system. And finally, we have a trust zone app region, this is, this is a special region. It's a secure resource, but it's managed by the, by the trust of the normal, normal kernel. The not in particular, the Linux kernel runs this efficient body system to uh, allocate secure pages for, for trusted applications. Uh, in this way, our runtime system does not have to run the sophisticated memory management. Uh, it only needs to Verify the, 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 the verify the secure pages returned by the Linux kernel. Let's look at how the trust shadow handles page fault. Uh, in particular, how it handles a page fault caused by our instruction fetch. First, the Linux kernel will find, will load the corresponding code page to a to a non secure page, and, and also it, it will allocate a secure page in the normal in the secure world. And, and 
second degree star is number word in table entry. Following this, in the secure one, we will verify that the secure page is indeed in the transform app room and there is no double batch occurs. If the verification is passed, we will install the number word in the table. As, I'm sorry, it's the trusted word in the table. And then we will copy the the next secure code page to the secure page. Finally, uh, we will in verify the integrity of the code page by comparing its hash value with the one stored in the secure in, 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 the, in the secure runtime system. As I mentioned earlier, the, the, the runtime system requires some hash data, such as the hash value of the code page to create to maintain the so the trusted execution environment for the application. We design a manifest which is bounded to each trusted application. Uh, because, because we store the, the manifest in the flash, which the normal voice access, we append to it a signature. And in the, and in the secure world of the time, and in the secure world, our runtime system must uh, verify must verify the signature using the device publicly before using it. We have implemented the trust shell inside the NTX IM6, IMX6 Q experiment, experiment board, and we have successfully run uh, a wide range of a wide range of uh, programs in, in our in our prototype, including more than 50 Linux utilities such as such as copy, analyze, and team. And we also successfully run many real world applications such as Apache and the NGX web server. Uh, this kind of web server is usually used in IoT devices to provide a user interface for, for users. And we also uh, successfully run many machine learning programs such as the uh, image classification program. It's mainly used in this kind of program is widely used in uh, in in edge devices to provide uh, the to provide data analysis to users. This table shows our result uh, when uh, after running the other advanced type of benchmark. I'll show you the table. Uh, there is uh, uh, for for the analysis part, there is about 2.01 uh, times over height, which in, which indicates the pure time that is wasted in board switch. And compared with other x86 based solutions, our solution uh, almost uh, have, have performance over high, uh, have, have performance advantage in almost all the test cases. And this, this figure shows our results of the NTX web server. Uh, for the HTTP, for HTTP, we find that uh, our solution has accept, acceptable overhead across all the uh, file sizes and uh, the, down, the performance of downgrade is alleviated uh, with the increase of the fair side, uh, with the fair side. For the HTTPS, we found that there is almost no overhead occurred. This is because HTTPS is, is, is CPU intensive, so most of the time is spent in user space, so there will be no, uh, there will be no overhead that can be occur. To conclude, Trust Shadow is the first solution for ARM devices to shape the execution of an unmodified application from a malicious operating system. We run, an, we run the trusted application in isolation with a malicious operating system and ensures that it is loaded in the memory correctly. Uh, in addition, we design our, our solution with the eagle attack in mind. More importantly, our solution can run in, in almost all the popular contact in series on um, um, devices and without the, the engineering uh, legacy applications can be protected instantly. Thank you.